what's going on guys welcome to another adventure we are 20 minutes from Cairns city we are at the crystal cascades we are chasing waterfalls and this is going to be the first one there's stairs here that go down so you can swim in there there's already a few people down there we're going to continue up the path in the wet season if you're not going to gear up in stinger suits and go swimming in the beaches you can always come to a place like this and cool off on a nice sunny day yeah because it's not always wet see that the sun shines so the only thing wet about it is the humidity but we kind of think it's fine too look at those rapids oh the water looks nice so inviting the water's coming down from the mountain under here and straight in there wow this is awesome oh we're definitely jumping in so we're at the crystal cascades guys on this little platform and this is what you can see. Have a look at the waterfall. Stunning, eh? So it's about a 1.5k walk here. The good thing about it is when you actually do get here, you're gonna wanna jump in and cool off. <laughs> so that's exactly what we're gonna do. So there's blue butterfly, guys. If you have done the arch trail in Melanda, you'll know that in the mosaics, there's a little hidden blue butterfly. And when you do find all of them and come to this place as a reward, these little blue butterflies pop out of nowhere and start flying around you. They greet you. I just like to think so. Just adds to the magic of this place. So we've come down these steps to this place. Awesome guys, the water is very cold. It's not freezing cold, but it's refreshing. Because it's such a warm day, you jump in there and it cools you right down and it's, it's great. Oh, not to mention the current, how strong was the current? The current, current is pretty strong. Um, you'll get that in the wet season because there's a lot of uh, water flow. So, but it was all good. Um, now we're back on the track, going back to the car park. Reason being, there's another path when you come down here, which will take you to waterfall number two. And that's Ferry Falls. This path is uh, quite different to the Crystal Cascades. Um, that's nice, wide and paved. And this is just more rugged, more raw. Yeah, it might be a good idea actually to maybe wear some long pants. But anyway, we'll see how we go. There's the river there. We're just we're following it up. All right, guys, our mission to find Ferry Falls was a fail the path leads to here and when you get here it goes over these rocks and you basically have to follow the river so there's a lot of rock climbing which we're not equipped chris is wearing thongs not only that we did we didn't bring the first aid kit either so so either we'll have to come back equipped yeah. or we just chase other ones guys we're back at the crystal cascades we are going for attempt number two to make it to fairy falls this time we're going to even show you the way how to get there so we're going to follow this path all the way till we reach the riverbed then we'll take it from there yeah this time we came geared up guys i'm wearing long pants in case we come across any stinging trees we've got the first aid kit because you just never know um it's a very rugged track you got to really be careful and put safety first when you're coming here but i'm guessing the end result should be worth it all right let's do it all right guys obstacle number one when you can actually come up to the river it almost seems like the path goes up there well it doesn't stay parallel to the river we actually have to climb over these rocks there's a little cascade there and we're going to climb over and make our way up to the river This is beautiful guys. This is a really nice hike, eh? Oh my god, look at that. Still making our way up. Look at that water. Crystal clear. 
Most tourists will go straight to the Crystal Cascades. If you're a little bit more adventurous like us, you will probably try and find Fairy Falls. We will continue through here. There looks like there's a fallen tree there. Watch out for, for these spikes. And singing trees. Yeah, that you might come across. Guys, welcome to Fairy Falls. Wow, there's a little rock pool at the bottom here. Beautiful, pristine water. This is stunning. Look how the mist of the waterfall just spreads out across and lights up from the sun rays. I'm off for words. This is amazing. I'm going to try and make my way up. The rocks are very slippery, so you got to be really, really careful. But look at that! You told me that the shades turn brighter, red and wild. You showed me every heart is a fighter. Time is now. Your own rock pool. Alright guys, so we are on the waterfall circuit with the first one being Mila Mila Falls. It's the most popular waterfall in the Tablelands. It's the most photographed waterfall in the Tablelands. And you can probably hear it behind me. We've got to walk down here through the jungle to get to it. Very rare that you'll come down here and have this waterfall to yourself. Probably the most touristy waterfall as well. If you come in the wet season, you might just have it to yourself. And I think maybe we do have it. We're lucky enough to have this for ourselves, guys. You come down here and I'm already getting wet. Mila Mila Falls, guys. We are wanderers, nothing can stop us. We are wanderers, nothing can stop us. Guys, if you come here in the dry season, you'll have all these tour buses parked along here. There'll be so many people. The waterfall will still be there, it will still be spectacular, but come in the wet season and potentially you can have it all to yourself like we have today. That's just amazing, especially if you want to take some Instagram pics and not have ever anyone else in the photo, this is the time to come. Alright guys, next one on the waterfall circuit is Zili. There's a car park here that you can park your car. The Lancer's pretty dirty. So you park the car in the car park and you come across here. And if you've got a sticker, you can place it up there like everyone else. A few YouTubers up there too, I think. And we go through here, through the jungle guys. But I don't think it's a long walk. You can hear the waterfall is just somewhere behind us here. It looks like a pretty easy walk. Coming up, I think it's just here. Yeah. 
Yep, we can hear it. There's a bit of a platform here. This is the top of the falls, guys. Zeely Falls. Alright guys, so we've just arrived at Ellinger Falls and we're in the car park and look who's here to greet us. Cedric and Cyril. They're wild roosters. Hey buddies. So, uh, which way to the falls? Okay, that way we'll just follow you guys. Alright, so I think they're telling us this track here. Yep, Ellinger Falls. Yep, oh my god. Oh, this is stunning guys. Simply stunning guys, what a stunning fall, and again we've got it all to ourselves. The path leads straight to it, so very easy to get to, not a very hard walking track, this one gets the thumbs up. We move all over, light up every corner, dancing, smoking, inside. Alright guys, I have to gear up and go off the beaten path to find this one. Just making my way down now. It's a bit slippery, so gotta be careful. Almost there. All right, guys. Pepina Falls. This is definitely not a touristy waterfall. You're gonna have to do your homework a little bit, and you're gonna have to go off the beaten path to find it. But here it is. Nice little swimming hole as well and you got to come down from there but once again another stunning waterfall Pepina and Sawita Falls is like uh, probably two waterfalls that not too many people know about. They're not very touristy. They are on the map. That's, you can look them up and do your homework and find out how to get to them. Um, but there is a little bit more exploring to do for these ones compared to the waterfall circuit, which is um, properly marked and you know the paths are laid so you can get to them really easy. But it's these waterfalls, the, it's the excitement behind it, you know, chasing these type of waterfalls is, is what we like doing, so that's why we're out here doing it. So this is the track that leads to the falls, it's about, what does that say, 160 meters for number one and 220 for number two. The track isn't very, it's pretty wild, put it that way, and it's like going straight into the jungle. Look at these trees. Look at this. Awesome. So next to us here, guys, is the river. So this path is kind of running parallel to the river. You can see some of it right there. So this is the first one. We're at the top of it. Wow. Look at this, guys. We got something back to go. 
but nobody knows Trying to have a choice Lost my sense of love so we're at a pause guys, it's quite wild, it's quite raw, it's quite amazing. Alright guys, another viewpoint for Sawira Falls. And there you have it. Queensland is stunning guys, it's wild, it's raw, if you want adventure, this is where you're going to find it, wild adventures, look at that, I puffed out, what a workout, what a climb. Hi guys, sadly our Destination Cairns adventure has come to an end. We hope you enjoyed the videos. I hope through those videos we've uncovered some of the hidden gems and magic the far north has to offer. With that said, our adventures will continue with our trip south through outback Queensland back to Sydney. The main thing is the memories that you create when you come up here and take back with you is priceless. So we'll leave you with some of the highlights of moments that we had with our time in the far north and our adventures will continue in the next one we're going under there's nothing we can do the final hour before we let it go to rest it's such a heartbeat pounding in your chest in this story oh, Just